More local news ahead. Let's get a look at your forecast now. Astrid has that uh, for us. Uh, and here we are, the middle part of the week already, Astrid. We are, and we're looking at beautiful temperatures to round out this work week. Temperatures are going to be more like uh, early to mid-August. We've got mainly clear skies right now. Just a few clouds out there through the Victoria area tonight. Those will clear up. So another great evening if you enjoy stargazing. Looking at 11 degrees overnight tomorrow. Highs to 26. That is above normal for this time of year. Not quite at the record level, though. Our record was set in 1944 at 31.1. Here's a look at your temperatures right now with your live school net weather sensors. And Dunsmuir Ella Middle School is at 20.6. Calm conditions there. Central Middle School, 19.6. So beautiful this evening once again. Still feeling the effects of this ridge of high pressure that's over the north coast area, keeping our skies fairly clear. Just a couple of clouds here and there throughout the day. It's not really going to move very much over the next little while. It's fairly stationary, but it is bringing some stronger winds to the north end of the island and through the Johnston Strait. So if you're through the Port Hardy area, along with a little bit of fog rolling in tonight, uh, you'll likely notice the winds picking up and that will continue through the east coast of the island. Clear skies through Nanaimo, but again, windy at the water through Port Alberni. Beautiful overnight at 9 degrees, 11 with a little bit of fog after midnight through the Tofino area. And for the South Island, Greater Victoria, clear skies once again tonight, slightly milder, looking at 11 degrees through Souk and downtown Victoria, 14 through Salt Spring Island. Tomorrow, another gorgeous day on the way and the temperatures on the way up as we've been expecting. 26 degrees through the downtown area tomorrow afternoon, a little bit cooler near the water in Souk at 18 degrees. The Cowichan Valley, you're well into the 20s as well. The mid 20s, Duncan 26 degrees tomorrow, just a couple of clouds here and there. Crofton Shimanus, a beautiful day on the way for you. For the Nanaimo area, your temperatures topping out at 27 tomorrow. Love and warm up to Parksville Qualicum. Again, a little bit cooler first thing in the morning before we get our day really into those warmer temperatures. Again, 25 degrees to Fino, you clue at some of the warmer temperatures you'll experience this year. 30 degrees in Port Alberni, the hot spot once again for tomorrow. UV index is 5 or moderate tomorrow. Be aware of that if you're outdoors. Highs to 27 through Courtney Comox and Campbell River with clear skies. And up to the north end of the island, after the fog and some of those clouds clear up, you will get some sunny breaks. Highs to 7 17 Port Hardy, Port McNeil into the 20s, Gold River through Sayward. The rest of BC for tomorrow feeling the effects of this high pressure as well with temperatures into the mid 20s as we get over to the, uh, the lower mainland and then up to Powell River. 27 degrees in Kelowna, 25 in Kamloops. So beautiful right across BC tomorrow. Over the next seven days, here's what you can expect. Greater Victoria, pretty much nothing but sunshine. Monday, a few clouds maybe, but you'll notice temperatures will start to be more seasonal as next week approaches. For the mid-island, you too have a good run of it. Nice and warm, 28 on Friday. And then we get into a cooling trend on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, which bring us back to normal for temperatures. Up around the North Island, you could see some showers around Port Hardy starting on Sunday, but that rain tapers off Monday and we get into dry but overcast skies Tuesday, Wednesday. So it's been a long time since we've had some rain. That's where we could could see some over the next week. Finally tonight, here is your weather watcher. And David, I love this picture that you sent in. This is a fog bow. If you haven't seen one of these, uh, but apparently you have to get up early. Monday morning, he took this picture off the Souk Bluffs. Now a fog bow, similar to a rainbow, but because of the very small size of the water droplets that cause fog, the fog bow has no colors. So it appears white. So there you go. Uh, mariners often call this a sea dog. So now you know. If you'd like to be a weather watcher, ctvvancouverisland.ca. That's our website. Hudson, gorgeous photo. Uh-huh, that is very cool. I've never seen one before. I've heard of sea dogs before. I have too. I've never seen one. Well, now we have. I've never heard of a fog bow before. I usually get my fog bow cake size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not to be mixed up with no, the strong bow. No, something else. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, Astrid, thank you. You're welcome.